now back to the race for the White House. In 2012, Erie County helped to send President Barack Obama to a second term by a 12-point margin. In 2016, President Donald Trump carried the county by 10 points. This election, well, it's anyone's guess. Home to around 75,000 people, nearly a third of its residents live in Sandusky, the county seat. And the entertainment industry, namely Cedar Point, is its largest employer. But it doesn't take long to see remnants of its manufacturing past. Tonight in this News 5 original, we're continuing to travel to Ohio's so-called pivot counties. Jordan Vandenberg shows us what some Erie County voters are thinking in this News 5 original. At Mr. Smith's Coffee House. Take a look around. What do you see? I want to see somebody beat Trump. Do you see party? I am more Republican than I care to mention. Or do you see people? Thankful I got a good paying job, and I'm thankful for that, but I can't afford that medicine if I lose it. Marvin Hill is a union man, and he's decidedly undecided. To the point I might vote down now. Although he did not vote for President Donald Trump in 2016, he knows why a majority of Erie County did. We lost GM, we lost Ford, we have lost Chrysler, we have lost a lot of industry. People really just want a 17 to 24 dollar an hour job, a house, and a vacation. <laughs> They're not asking for much. That's what got him elected. He wanted to get things done. John Bosser Jr. needed convincing four years ago, but along the way, the voracious reader I read it every day. of the daily paper. That's how I get my news. I like to stay informed. Decided Trump was his guy. I'll be honest with you, Donald Trump is a very difficult man, okay? That having been said, he wants to get things done. I think that our president needs to be an honest, caring person with heart. Marsha Carrington won't hide it. You don't even want to get me started, <laughs> honestly. For her, climate change is front and center. She avidly supported President Barack Obama's two terms. I thought he was an amazing president. In this election, she's focused on keeping Trump to one. In the end, I will support whatever candidate that is that can win. Now, it's at this point you might be inclined to apply the labels that we're all guilty of using. Republican, Democrat, undecided, but people are not one size fits all. They can be, well, complicated, especially on topics like immigration. I will agree with Trump on that. Health care is really important too. I will support Medicare for all. As well as the stalemate between Republicans. I wouldn't be opposed to voting for somebody in that party. In Democrats. I have no problem voting for a Democrat if they'd show me something that they would actually get something done. I look at the person. If you look around a room, hopefully you see people instead of party. It is a long election season. And despite our differences, we all share the same space. And you never know who you may be sitting next to. In Sandusky, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.